Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to this match play game of Tide of Conviction between the Astra Militarum and the Ultramarines. Uh, Tide of Conviction, there are six objectives on the board. There is one in each deployment zone with one on the long table edges and then there are four scattered randomly across the middle. I mean they look random but they're not, I've done them like the book says. I'm going through all the missions in order but although the videos may not be. Um, and for this mission you need to hold two objectives or three objectives or more objectives for four, eight and twelve points. So you need more objectives but there is more of them so that's a thing. Uh, but if you don't have your home objective you need to roll a four up to get your CP. So make sure you keep your home objective. In addition, there are extra primary points available if you take the objectives in your opponent's territory or your opponent's deployment zone at the end of your turn and the end of the battle. So you want to overrun across onto the other side of the board, essentially. So that's the mission. As for the terrain, it's not been terraining today. It's nice and sunny. Um, there are lots of ruins everywhere to ruin line of sight because that's what ruins do. They're obscuring, so you can't shoot through them, but you can shoot in or out of them. And they're also light cover, defense wall, scalable, breach wall, all the balls, because everyone likes the balls. Uh, I've also got two lots of woods across the middle there. They will be dense cover and difficult ground. And there's also lots of barricades today as well. Um, and they will be difficult ground and light cover and their barricades. So better engagement range and things like that. So a nice mixture of terrain today. Plenty to hide behind in your endpoint zone. Bit of cover and dense cover available in the middle. And then there we go. So that's that. Uh, speaking of terrain and maps and things. Uh, the ruins are from urban mats, the battle mat is from game mat, and the cool little guard terrain is from March of War. Okay, there's loads of links below for that, um, and then there's other links below for element games. If you like to buy paints or brushes or models and things at a discount, check them out. And of course, smash the like button, hit subscribe because you're going to enjoy this. And there's a battle report every single week, and you you can become a YouTube channel member now as well to get extra perks and early access videos and things like that. Yay! Do all those amazing things. Anyway, on to the guest for today. It is... Hello. It is Sir Paul of Ultramar. It is I. Also known as... Not his, guys. Tall Paul. Yes. Yes, because... very much so. Tall. Um, yes. And you've got Ultramarines, because you're Sir Paul of Ultramar. Yes. Yeah, so you got Ultramarines today. Mm -hmm. And I've got Magar today. So this is going to be Imperium versus Imperium, but... Maybe there's been a mix of communications, or maybe I just don't care that you're Ultramarines and I'm going to kill you. It's just a practice game. It's a practice game, is it? Ball games. So, so we, we, you're shooting paintballs at me and I'm just shining flashlights at you, yeah? Yeah, more like rubber bullets or something. Yeah, I mean, last guns are flashlights at the best of times anyway, to be fair. Yeah, that's true. There isn't really a lethal round option. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to run your, through your list of Ultramarines, sir? I see the G-Man at the front. Yes, actually. Never, never leave home without him. Because he is the G-Man. Do you actually never leave home without him? Do you no, like, go to work with him? I and, do. I have, a, I have a special case that I put him in, and I just walk around with him. And yeah. like many, many a times I've had people come up to me work, like, who's that? And I say, it's the G-Man. It's, it's the G-Man. And they're like, oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, you're going to start, start from the back, because you always start from the back. Okay. Indeed. So I've actually, for the first time, split them into the abilities. So uh, oh. heavy support. Oh, uh, yeah, you've battlefield rolls. And, I've just yeah, noticed that. Very clever, good. Very right? nice. Two in and four in. Yeah. Uh, so it's time for, I've got uh, Desolation Marines. So it's the Nerf Ball gun people. Yeah, that's the ones. Yeah, uh, they have the, uh, I think it's the Super Crack, is it? Super Crack? Yep, Super Crack. What do you mean the Super Crap? No, they're actually very good. Oh, they? Well, because oh, yeah, they're more damage, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right, cool. Uh, so they got three, those. Yep. Yeah. And then the sergeant has a master crafted Bengal launcher, as is kind of standard for anyone who takes them. Whatever one of those is, right? Yeah, uh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I then have uh, some eradicators uh, with heavy melter rifles. Very nice. Uh, I then have uh, some devastators with uh, graph cannons. Uh, the sergeant has a power fist and a combi melter. Although, not modeled, but. Because why not, right? Because it's all free. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. So that's uh, your heavies. What else you got? Uh, then onto my elites. I have uh, the Smash Brothers, Mario and Luigi, my Invictors. Um, uh, just with, as you see, uh, all cannons, he um, he heavy bolt. Uh, all, all, all the Dacker guns. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay. Then they're all they're older brothers, the Redemptors. Again, both the same heavy uh, onslaught melters. Uh, macro plasma incinerators. Them. Uh, they're the ones, and then you got ones. what the little onslaught Gatling guns as well. Yeah, on um, Gatling guns, and then storm bolters for the booby guns. The, the nipple bolters. Yeah, awesome. cool. Okay, yeah. all right. And then in front of them, my elites, uh, or they were my elites, in fact. Uh, and then in front of them, I also have a squad of terminators with storm shields and thunder hammers. The hammerators. Very nice. Cool. Um, okay. Two troop units, uh, two infiltrators. 
Uh, both with Hornet Helix Hornets, so I'll probably should be able to jump around, get me some objectives. And be annoying. That as well. Yeah, cool, uh, okay. And then onto my characters, I've uh, got my Chief Apothecary, uh, he's been upgraded to Chief Apothecary and South Placida. Uh, he also has the uh, Fox of Spirits and for extra range. Uh, and I've given him the, how is it, the, what did I say it was? Artificial armor, you said, or, some, or, or was it armor indomitors? You gave armor indomitors, that's right. You gave him some, right, yeah, him some yeah. better armor, so the guy who goes on healing everyone else will stay alive a little bit longer to yeah, keep so healing everyone armor else. Armor indomitors, so he's got extra runes. I think it gives him a two, two plus base save, and once in the game, I can bump it up to a three up in vulnerable. Yeah. So hopefully that should allow him to be a little bit more survivable, because you always like to kill my profit creeps. Well, yeah, because they keep picking up marines, and that's really annoying. So, yeah, okay, so that's him, right? And then have the, the best psyker in the game, uh, Chief uh, Tiberius. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, all right, Chief Tiggy, okay. Yep, all right. Uh, his powers are available at the time, Psychic Fortress and Mighty Heroes, pretty much the standards, really. Yep, cool. Um, and so, then, that's them. And all right. then lead them all, and actually, as we said, the G Man. The G Man, who gives loads of re rolls, and he's got a really big sword. Cool, yes. okay, alright. Uh, and for those who don't know, Ultra means you can fall back and shoot at minus one. I think it has more leadership. And in the tactical doctrine, you can move and shoot as if you're a main stationary, which yes. is nice with your heavy weapons and rapid firing and things like that. And obviously, space means have sticky objectives now, so if your troops are on objectives in your command phase, you can move off and install your objective, which is very nice, mm -hmm. especially when you need to hold two or three objectives. Exactly. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. 2,000 points of Smurfs. Um, <laughs> now 2,000 points of Rambos. Uh, so the Astra Militarum, um, I'm running Born Soldiers today because, well, who doesn't really? Uh, so six is a hit from range will auto wound. Um, and then I think it has an extra leadership if it's near an officer, of which I have a few of, so that's that. Um, and then obviously I have orders and things because it's the guard, so there we go. Uh, let's start from the front because you started from the back. Uh, so at the front here, I have Colonel Ironhand Strachan. He's the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the 41st Millennium because not only is he Rambo, he's also half a Terminator. <laughs> so he's, he's Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, you know, twice, isn't he? Um, oh no, because Rambo's, Rambo's not Schwarzenegger, he's Stallone, isn't he? Rambo. Sorry, Marvel is Stallone. Yeah. Oh, yeah but Rambo is Stallone. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, he's the Arnold Schwarzenegger I get of the forty-first millennium. <laughs> um, he's he's an absolute weapon in combat. He can also do two orders, and he gives a captain's reroll aura. So that's him. Colonel Strachan. I gave him his warlord trait to make him more of a weapon in combat. Uh, I have a command squad. Um, in the command squad, I have a master vox. I have a plasma gun, a metal gun, and a medic. Uh, and then the uh, platoon commander has a power sword, and he has a wall of trait master tactician. So after we roll to know who's going first, I can redeploy three imperial guard units. Ooh. So I've got a, a free unit, free redeploy. Free. I mean, it wasn't free. It cost me a CP to give him the wall of trait, but yeah, three units. So that's really good. Um, I've got a tech priest. He's a tech priest. He makes tanks more durable and fixes them and things. That's him. Um, I've got a commissar with a plasma and a sword uh, because that's what he's modelled with. And he has a null coat. He's got a coat which can deny psychic powers. It's amazing. I don't know where he got it from. But yeah, apparently he doesn't like, you know, magicians. He's a bit of a muggle. Um, so that's him. Uh, I've got two units of six scions, um, power swords on the sergeants because they're free. And then I've got a flamer and one, a melter in the one. The rest are hotshot las guns. So that's them. I have five infantry squads, all with plasmas, all with vox casters, uh, three with las cannons, uh, two with the missile launchers, and the ones with missile launchers also have bolt guns on the sergeants because why not? So that's the infantry. I have three chimeras, all with multi lasers and heavy bolters, and I've got a Vanquisher battle tank at the back with a veteran commandeer, so he can reroll a hit every time he shoots, which is important because he has. One shot with Vanquish Cannon, so let's make sure that actually hits something. That would be nice. Um, right, next to him, I have a tank commander with the Gatekeeper Battle Cannon, and he's also got uh, Lead by Example as his Warlord trait, so he can also order himself, which is nice because normally they can't anymore. Uh, and then his tank ace is Meticulous Calibrator, so he ignores all cover when he's shooting things, which is really nice. Um, I also have a Burn Blade because, well, I need more guns. <laughs> so I brought a Bane Blade, uh, and I've given that the tank a Knight of Piety, so that's an invulnerable save, and shrugs to more wounds, just to make it even more durable, because tough as nine with 30 wounds and a top save just wasn't enough, basically. So there you go, see if you can kill that, that'd be fun. Uh, and then I have three individual Scout Sentinels uh, with Heavy Flamers and Chainswords. Uh, and all of the vehicles also have armoured tracks, which is essentially the same as all his dust, so if you hit any of my tanks with damage one weaponry, I get plus one to my save. 
So if you hit a bolt gun at a Chimera, for example, I'll get tilt safe. Unless you've got AP. Um, so that's that. Um, that's everything. Yes. So, cool. Okay. Um, objectives and things, Paul. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so with the guard, I'm going to retrieve data because guardsmen might as well do something. Uh, <laughs> I've got to engage on all fronts because I've got quite a bit of speed with the Sentinels and the Chimeras and the Sans dropping in, so I should be able to run around and just get points. And I'm starting in two quarters anyway, because it's long table. So all I have to do is push down one flank, and I'm in three, aren't I? So, That's fine. There we go. Easy. Um, and then Inflexible Command, so keep things within range of officers with Vox casters and things, and also kill things when being ordered to kill things for points. That's how that works. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the, the Ultra Smurfs. So you get points for doing what you're told. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. You know, if, if they don't, the Commissar will sort them out. Um, the Ultra Smurfs, you're going for Bring It Down because, well, as we've just seen, I have a billion vehicles. So that's that. Yes. Kill the vehicles. Uh, shot tactics, nick objectives that I control. Shouldn't be a problem. My infantry is fairly, fairly fragile. You should be able to just run over and kill a few guardsmen, right? Should. Maybe. Should. Um, <laughs> and then March from a Crag. Essentially, you do actions on objectives and it's completed in the next command phase or yes. something. So you've got to survive a survivor turn. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, okay, cool. So you need to do actions on objectives, nick objectives and kill tanks. I need to do actions and run all over the place and do what I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> um, so, right, we need to roll now to decide who's going to defend it or attack Paul. Do you have a dice? I have many dice. You have a bag full of dice. I do. Well, we need one of them in there. After you. That's it. Oh. oh. I mean, it's a roll that doesn't really matter, and I've won it, so I'll defend, I'll go over here because I have a better camera angle, we'll deploy, we'll alternate, and we'll be back. And okay, we are back after deployment, we've both de deployed, because that's what you do in deployment. Um, so for the guard, I've got a scout sentinel there, another one there, and one all the way on the other side, they've all infiltrated nicely, ready to push forward and get me engaged and just be a nuisance, basically. I know you'll kill them and get bring it down points, but... Their job is to get me points as well, so that's them. Now, I've got a Bane Blade sitting here, because it was either going to go there or go there. There wasn't really much in the way of options. No, and he's gone over there, because then he's got a bit more space to move forward, and he should be able to see it quite a bit once he's moved forwards, I think. But he's also very visible, so fine. Um, behind this room, I've got two infantry squads with missile launchers and the command squad and the commissar, and then the chimera with Strachan and another infantry squad in it there. So I've got a bit of a blob there, hiding nicely. Um, and then over here... I've got two more Chimeras with infantry squads in them, my tank commander, my vanquisher tank, and my temporary in this happy place, nicely surrounded by tanks. It's the parking lot. It's like one of those games you can get on your phone where you've got to sort of move all the tanks out to sort of, you know, figure out where things park. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's them. And then you've whacked some infiltrators in the middle, because yes. you can do that. That was annoying. I wanted to put a sentinel there, but never all mind. Right. Um, Dreadnought hiding on a ruin. More suit there. Loads of infantry with G-Man, your characters are there, hiding nicely. Mm -hmm. And another more suit and a dreadnought hiding over there. Yes. And then some more infiltrators, whoops. Some more infiltrators there, and then you've put your Terminators in Deep Strike, because Terminators can do that. Yeah, and my eradicators. You put your eradicators in reserves as well. Yeah. Very nice, okay. Cool, so you're hiding quite a bit, apart from your big things, but you, you can redeploy things because you're ultramarines, so yes. that could be a thing. And I can redeploy things as well, because my wall trait, so... Yeah. After we've rolled the dice to see who goes first, there might be a bit more redeploying before we'll we actually re get on yeah, with it. Yeah. Re yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's roll to see who goes first then. After you, sir. Continue. Paul of Ultramar. Uh, <laughs> okay. So it's going to be Ultramar's turn one. Let's do some redeploying shenanigans and we'll be back for Ultramar's turn one. Okay. And um, we've done our redeploying and things like that. Um, essentially, my two scout sentinels that were over here have now gone over there. And one of the chimeras that was here has gone over there. And then you shuffled around your war suits and your dreadnoughts a little bit. Yeah. It's not running away. It's actually more just a tactical... The tactical uh, repositioning. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it is. Uh, and then you did your command movement phase. You gave minus one hit thing from Tikarius to uh, your to desolators because they're in the ruins. Yep. And they can get shot at. And then you've just hidden them a bit and moved forwards with them a bit. And that's yeah. pretty much about it. Everyone just kind of just tweaked. Yeah, and then you're doing lots of marching from a crag on this objective, that objective, and your home objective. Um, home objective, yeah. To try and get points and things. Okay, all right, well, um, straight into your psychic phase, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're well out of my, my null coats deny range, so you can carry on. Yeah, so I, I'm only, there's only really one I can do, which would be a psychic fortress. Okay. Everything a 
think it's five of pinball. Five of pinball, yeah, with a six inch bubble, okay. Uh, and that does up on a six, but he gets plus one, so fives. Yes. Good old Tiggy. And there, oh, you need the perils. Uh, <laughs> and you got your socket for it. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, I won't worry about my second one. Uh, and then my shooting, which there's only a few things to shoot. Okay, where would you like to start with your shooting? Um, let's just start with mine. Um, Desolation Marines, I'm going to shoot into uh, what we recently nicknamed Barry Scott. Barry Scott, because bang and the dirt is gone. Yeah. Exactly. Alright, well, I'll, I'll pop a CP and um, pop smoke. So I'm minus one ahead. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, yes. Okie dokie, indeed. So this is everything for your Desolation Super Nerf Gun Squad. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So I okay. should start with the Sergeant who has a ma the Mastercrafted Bangor launcher. <coughs> okay, whatever that is. D6 shots. Okay. That's five. Very nice. He, hit uh, he hits on twos himself normally. Oh, it's so three, three's, threes now. Threes. Yeah. Rerolling because he's within six of good Yes, so freeze re rolling. You keep re rolling. You hating. Right, so we'll strength for this. Uh, the This is strength six. Okay, bold fives. Fives. Top is eight. Okay, fives re rolling any ones. Uh, there's a one. Uh, so you got one wound. AP? Uh, AP is minus two. Uh, is that including the Devastator? Yes. Okay, so minus two, so four up. Made it. Okay. Well, she got. Um, uh, <coughs> and I should just say, time. Uh, he can also give another one of the unit a plus one to hit. So okay, I'll do that one as well. All right. They've both got a castle and launcher, so yeah, yeah. Team up together. Cool. Uh, so that's just one shot. So hitting on three. Be rolling. So that is the G man. So he's hit. What's strength for that? Strength eight. Okay, so, so fours. fours. Be rolling the one. Because the G man. No. Oh, I and then you got a few more guys. Uh, yeah, so that was just their, their big guns, and then they've got um, their castle and launchers, which are D3 shots each, but these two are hitting on two, so I'll do them together. Okay. So, two D3 shots. So what's up? Three. three. Yep. Yeah. on freeze. My dice need to warm up today. Yeah, they do, don't they? What's strength for these? Uh, these are castle and launchers, strength four, so sixes. Sixes, oh dear. Uh, we can reel the one. No, okay. nothing. What else you got? So that's the two that I had the plus one. So then <coughs> the other three, uh, which are three shots on the heavy crack. Super cracky jumps. Super crack. So fours. They love their drugs. They're super crack. Nine. So they will hit. These are strength. Strength eight, so fours. Fours, yep. Yeah. And they will not wounded. Oh, oh dear. This is not good. Super crap. See, I told you they were super crap. <laughs> My missile launchers are just crap. Yours are super crap. <laughs> they are at the moment. My well, dice are deceiving me. D3 yeah. shots on the castle and launcher. Okay. So three. Two. An extra one. And he's going to be hitting right. fours now, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so, this smoke. But lots of rerolls. These are the ones that are only spent four, yeah? Yes. Oh dear. Uh, so this is rerolling ones. Oh, you got loads of ones. Loads of ones. Lucky you can reroll them. Oh, so you got one wound. AP? Uh, I've rolled a five and probably fine. Uh, D plus one, so yeah, can't imagine it's yeah, much. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, well that was that was amazing that from, from the Desolation Squad. It was, and it was horrendous. Yeah. Okay. Well, she got. Um, Dreadnought into your. Dreadnought into the scout sensor. I mean, he's probably dead, but let's find out. You might whiff the plasma. <laughs> but even if you do, you can smack it with a power fist in a minute anyway. Can't oh, I don't well. wisdom, but oh, well, not to worry. Um, so actually, yes, I was do uh, plasma. <laughs> not going to overcharge. No, you probably don't need to. So, decent decent shots. shots for free. Let's move that a bit nearer uh, for you. I'm nice like that. Hit freeze. <laughs> It'll freeze, yeah. So two hits and then wounding on freeze. Top of the six. Very nice. Uh, AP a billion won't get any save. That's five. four damage. Four damage. So three wins remaining. <coughs> um, and then onslaught cutting cannon. Onslaught cutting cannon. Yeah, because yeah, your your suit advanced, didn't it? So that can't it shoot. shoot. It does but, have an assault. Unless... I think it's the grenade launch on the top. Okay, so we'll, we'll check that in a minute. Right. So yeah, yeah, so the Gatling cannon. Yep, yeah, freeze. It's not bad. Um, five. It's from five, isn't it? Top of six. Uh, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. five to win then. Five. 
Uh, one. one minus two. Yep. It's devastating, so six up. No, another wound, so another two. Very nice. And you got your eight shots from your nipples. Yep. <laughs> you know this better than I do, what's going on? Well, it's because I've actually got one of those now, so I actually know what his weapons are. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, five, three, four, tough, and six. Uh, two. two, but no AP, so fours. Got a wound left, and then you got your Icarus Rocket Pod for D3 shots. <clears throat> it's two, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit them freeze. Uh, we don't freeze, so that's strength seven, isn't it, or something? Pretty sure it's strength seven. Strength seven, yeah. Yeah, so freeze. freeze. Very nice. There's no AP two, isn't it? So six okay. is it's dead. Does it blow up? Yes! I'll have to see what the range is now. If it's six inches, this will be fun. Right, yeah, okay. sent all blew up, but you were too far away, so you were fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the assault in Invicta War suit, you can just about see this chimera here, so yes. might as well shoot that. So D6 shots on that one. With the frag storm grenade launch here. So that's five shots. Five shots. Hit and them then... fours because you're advanced. Yeah. Uh, you hit once. And then four, seven to seven, so fives. No, okay. No. But at least you shot something for advancing, okay. And then what you've got left now is essentially your two two walkers there, which can shoot the bane blade because he doesn't care about the fact you're beyond a ruin because it, it's a bane blade, <laughs> basically. Um, Grav guys are doing an action. So yeah, and then you've got your infiltrators. Oh, they're doing actions as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. okay. Cool. So I shall start with the Invictor. Okay. Is, um, Victor the Invictor. No, it's Luigi. Oh, it's Luigi. No. It's, it's my Lictor for my Tyranids that's called Victor. That's right. Yeah. We should we should do Lictor versus Invictor and see <laughs> and see who wins at some point. No, we did that before. Didn't we? <coughs> What well, Tyranids, yeah, yes. scary. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, cool. So carry on hitting on freeze. Yes. It's not bad shooting. What's the strength for this? Uh, oh, come on. There's strength five. Okay, so fives. Not quite tough as ten. <laughs> uh, so two go through. AP? Uh, 82. Okay, so four of those. So I'm assuming it's... Yeah, I'm well, fine. Next. Um... Uh, heavy stubble on that one. Oh, no. We all know this is the most dangerous one. It's the, well, it's the, it's the most dice. It's the eight. Oh, no. Yeah. So hit and freeze. Yep. Uh, oh, you made lots of banging noises. Yeah. Strength for this? It's only four. Oh, so six is in. Uh, oh, you got a couple though, look. Oh, oh, AP and damage? Uh, AP two, damage one. Okay, so armor track, so AP one. So three ups. Oh no, it's like a wound! <laughs> Means I've got to get some dice out now. Okay, 29 wounds remaining. Um, heavy belt war as well from Invicta. Very nice. Okay. Five Eight to wound. Five. Just one. Four up. Two more damage. Mm. Right, okay. Um, that was painful. I think Not. That's it for that. And then you Everything from the Redemptor. Are you going to supercharge? Because if you don't, you're winning on fives. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Supercharging, heavy D6. Oh, do you want to CP that? Do you want one, two shots? Yeah, why not? Hey, Six shots, there you nice. go. See? You, you start with loads of CP, you might as well spend some. Yeah. Cool, okay. okay. So hit on freeze. freeze. Get some ones gone. Oh, I'm you take a mortal wound. And then you're winning on fours now because strength nine, toughness nine. Uh, oh. oh, oh dear. Uh, and I've got my five plus one more save because I'm a knight of piety. Which I make. Glorious. So you've done nothing to me and you've wounded just health. Nice. Excellent stuff. Yeah. And then what else you got? Gatling gun and things? Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, I think it's in range. So Gatling gun, I guess. Yep. So you freeze. Uh, oh. Um, I'm waiting on fives. Oh, oh okay. Um, four shots from the storm bowlers. Yep. That's a bit more accurate, but you're going to be waiting on sixes. Nope. And D three from the rocket pod <laughs> for free. There we go. That might do something. Ah. Sure. 
Hello, I'll allow it. Uh, and then you win on five. <laughs> oh, just one. AP two. So, oh no, two damage. So what, 25 wounds, Paul? Yeah, that was good. That was good. Five right? less than he had to start with. So. Mm, well, <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, cool. Have you got anything else to shoot? <laughs> They're all doing um, actions and things. No. No? Okay, so that's your turn. Oh, actually. What are you thinking? My own devastation. Well, they're doing the march from a crag on the home agenda, aren't they? Oh, yes, yes, of course they are. My yeah. apologies. So, so Epic's doing actions, you see. Yeah. Cool, okay, so at the end of your turn, you haven't scored... An, oh, and you scored one point for bring it down. You've got a scout sentinel. Hurrah! You're doing lots of marching from a crag. They'll be completed in, in your next command phase, so you need to try and kill some of those units. And nothing shot at this because you didn't nick any objectives. Not yet. Not yet. So uh, we'll go on to guard, turn one. Okay, Imperial Guard, um, turn one. It's one point to... Oh, no, actually, no, you got two much. You, got, you had two extra points because you had objectives in my uh, territory at the end of your turn. So you're actually on three points for the Ultramarines. Three yeah. points to nil as we're going to guard turn one. Um, got CP, obviously, that's what you do. Uh, my Tet Priest gave the Vanquisher tank an invulnerable save. Did I get the Vanquisher? Yeah, I did. I think I did. Can't remember. That's about invulnerable save. Um, and then my tank commander over here told himself to full throttle because he can. And it bounced to all the other vehicles around here as well, including the Sentinels. So there's lots of full throttling going on over there. The infantry squad got out the Chimera on just about getting onto that objective. So I've nicked that back from your Invicta. Over here, uh, my infantry squad are taking aim and the command squad is remaining vigilant. Um, and they will just shuffle into the room so they can shoot things. Strachan even got out of his tank to give a reroll aura because why not? The main blades shuffled forwards and I've part of one objective. Because, it, yeah. And these guys got out of that tank and they're retrieving data in this quarter here because I suddenly realised I haven't got much over here to retrieve data, so let's do it now with them. And the tanks drove off that way. So that's that. Um, I haven't got any psychic because I haven't got any psychic, so I can go straight into the shooting phase and start shooting things. So I'm going to start with Mr. Vanquish tank here, shooting everything into your dreadnought. Okay? Yes. Vanquish cannon, it will hit you on a fray. It's also wounded. <laughs> it's AP5 and it ignores invulnerable saves, so you won't get a save. No. And it will do 2 plus 6 damage, that's 8 damage, which becomes 7, and then D3 mortal wounds. For an extra 3. So it's on 10 wounds on you, don't be dreadnought. Not by me fr rolling 3 dice. <laughs> so it's got 3 wounds left. <laughs> Just to kind of save a little bit, I'm going to pair CP4 armor contempt. So I can try and shrug the... Oh, you can try and shrug, shrug the, uh, shrug the mortal wounds. Yep, yeah, okay, so there's three of those. It's five ups, isn't it, I think? I'm not contempt. Oh. Well, you can do them all together. But uh, If you did them all together, you, no. might, you might have made one of them. Uh, okay, so you've got three wounds left. I'll shoot you with a last cannon now. Which also hits and also wins. <laughs> but you get a save from that. It's only AP3. So you'll get a six up. <laughs> uh, that'd be D6 damage. Which is five, which comes four. Now you're dead. Do you block? Bang, and the dirt is gone. <laughs> okay, well that, that was that was a how to kill a killer dreadnought with the least amount of dice rolls. Yeah. <laughs> what, two, three. I'll hit an auto wound with a vanquisher, and then I have to roll the damage and the mortal wounds, and then hit an auto wound the last cannon and another damage. So five dice and a killer dreadnought. That's yeah, insane. that's fun, isn't it? Uh, right, so this scout sentinel is going to heavy flame with this war suit, right. and then I pay the CP for maverick maneuvers. So after it's done it, it can move. Wow. All right. So this is going to flame your war suit, and it will hit you six times. I like that dice. It keeps rolling sixes. I'll keep that one. But now I've, I've got it mixed with the other ones now, you see. But I wound you on fives. And I wounded you twice. So two at AP1 on your Invicta. AP2, did you say? AP1. AP1, of course. Yep. And I've tickled uh, the wound off, off Mario. Okay. Right, okay. Uh, moving on to Gatekeeper Tank here. I'm going to unload the last cannon into you, Luigi over there, and then the gatekeeper and the heavy bolt was into your desolation squad. And you've transhumaned them, and they are prescient as well. So yes. that's, that's good, that's a thing. Uh, I'll start off with I'll start off with the last cannon into you and Victor, actually. Why not? And that hit, but it hasn't auto wounded. But now that has wounded. Uh, <laughs> minus three onto your and Victor. And then d6 damage. For five. Okay, that's nice. Um. So while you mark that up, let's shoot Gatekeeper at your Desolation Squad, which will do eight shots. So, six, 
seven, eight, because it's six plus D3, which is very nice. But I'm hitting on fours because you're minus one to hit thing. Yeah. Okay. But I've already got three auto wounds, so that bypasses your transhuman a bit. And then these will wound on fours. Well, they won't. Okay, so that is three at minus three and ignore your cover. So you, but you've got your psychic fortress, haven't you? So you yes. have got invulnerable saves. So three of them. There you make one. Three damage a piece. So three shrugs followed by three shrugs, I guess, because apothecary. So one guy dead. You can do three at a time. Cause it's... Yeah, so two guys dead. And then the heavy bolters. But these will hit them fives because you minus one a hit. Uh, but okay, to be fair, wound, I've also wounded twice again, and that wound on a four, like that. This is minus one, it ignores the cover, so three four ups. Three? Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay, so I've only killed a couple of them. Okay. But I also damaged the war suit thing, so that's fine. Okay. Hmm. Right. Right, Chimera, shooting through the trees at these um, chaps here. Let's start with the let's start with the uh, multi laser actually. So I've just remembered you got helix bolt. I would start with the heavy bolter, but I'd rather start with something that's not damaged too. So let's start with the multi laser, <laughs> which hit on fours because of the trees. Oh, that's nice. That's wounded. He's going to win on threes. Let's run six. So it's two at AP one on your um, chaps in the middle there. So I try. You can take it on him if you want. No, have, no, have three up saves. I was going to say because I, I get covered, don't I? Yeah, I yeah. Free you can, yeah, so two free ups on that guy and cover then. So he's fine. Okay. And then I've got six six flashlight shots. I'm going to hit on fives now because of the trees, but that didn't make much difference. And then fives to win. That is two. You can do two ups on the guy and cover if you want as well. Two two ups. He's fine. Okay, I'm going to get him with heavy bomber then. Should we hit on fives? And that also wounds. It's minus one. So I free up on the guy in cover. Oh, the, <laughs> stop hiding behind the barricade. Okay, fine. Right. Okay. Let's shoot some guns from these chaps. Right. Infantry squad number one into the infiltrators now. And this time you have done smoke screen because it cancels out my plus one hit from a take aim. So, okay, fine. Let's start with the plasma gun first. Rapid fire range. This one I hit on fours. And I can reel the one because Strachan is there. And he's missed anyway. See, your smoke did something, see? Um, crack missile. So he moved and your smoke screen. But so he's hitting on fives. Damn it. And then I've got lots of NAS guns. I've got a bolt gun as well, actually. Bolt gun. Yeah, we did with a bolt gun. There we go. Uh, be AP1, but cover, so free up safe. Old oh, curses. Right, flashlights. Right. Ten flashlights hit on fours because of smoke screen and take aim. I can reel the one because of Mr. Stalacon. Oh. See, loads of freeze there, look, which I've always would have hit. Those ones have wounded. And that one hasn't. Uh, three at minus one, so three ups because of cover. Three free ups. These are going to fail a save at some point. Hurrah! He looks more left. Right. Okay. Is right. one damage? Or? Well, it's zero damage because of your helix more left. Yeah. It took me that much guns to actually get rid of it. Yeah. It's annoying. Uh, the infantry squad will do the same thing. I've got a plasma gun there in rapid fire range as well, so boo -boo, supercharging, and that's missed because of your smoke screen. And that'll wound, and that'll be AP4, but because of cover AP3, so it gets six up save. Yay, I've killed one of them because it's two damage. Hurrah! Right, and then there's a crack missile from that unit as well, which will hit on a five because moved in the smoke screen. I can reroll the one. Missed. And then I've got a couple of las gun shots. One hits, doesn't wound. And I've got a bolt gun shot, because he's not in rapid fire range, which is also wounded. So that's AP1, so we'll get a free up from that. Because of cover and things. Okay, so all of that, I've killed one Marine. Brilliant, right. Okay, but I need to kill the entire unit to stop you doing your yeah. Mar marching, McCraggy thing. Okay, fine, we've well, got a Bane Blade. So let's see what he can do. No, he, that's not. That's he's that's he's that's always that's fun. That's so I'm going to spend the CP on ingrained precision. Uh -huh. So that means hits of five and six for him will auto wound, which is brilliant because he's got a billion shots. All right, so I'm going to put the, yeah, all the heavy bolters and the heavy stubber into them. The demolisher is going to go into that, and the auto cannon is going to go into them as well. And the two last cannons are going to go into your war suit, and the big gun. 
It's going to go into your Desolation Squad because they're really annoying. I want to kill them. What, all right, what, what, I'm splitting fire all over the place because it always works. What have I ever done to annoy you this much? Nothing. Um, <laughs> demolish cannon into him. Let's start with that. So here we go. D6 shots for six. Oh, oh I like this. I'm rolling lots of sixes today. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I'm going to hit on fours. Uh, actually, no, fives because of the trees, actually. So fives, but essentially because of ingrained precision, if I hit you, I'll wound you. Yeah. Oh. So I've wounded you once. AP three. So you probably get a six or save, right? D6 damage. Six. Oh, I'm rolling lots of sixes today. <laughs> yeah. Can I call you that? No. Um, <laughs> that's the demolisher done. Uh, let's do the two last cannons, which we're going into that war suit. Let's do that. So these will hit on, uh, again, uh, no, because I can go, no, I think the trees are still going to mess me up there. So let's roll some dice. They both auto wounded anyway, because I'm rolling hot today. Uh, so two six up saves on your other war suit. <laughs> is, is he not in cover or? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, so I was hitting on five, so I hit them also wounded. Uh, but they don't get cover, they're not infantry. So no saves. 2d6 damage. I've got another six, I'm getting too many sixes, that's nine damage. Nine damage. Ow. He's only got eight wounds left, so he's dead. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I shot him with him as well, didn't I? Yeah. With another a powerful last cannon shot. Does he blow up? He would, No. Okay, well, this is going well so far. Uh, and then I had all the other shots. Oh no, I had the big gun into your desolation squad, didn't I? Let's do that. 3d6. Okay, so that is four ten shots. And another six left. And I've already got ten dice here. They are minus one a hit, so I'm hitting on fours. And I've transhumaned them. And they're transhuman. Okay, but fives and sixes will also wound. Okay. So these all miss. Two auto wounds. That will wound on a four, like that. Okay, so three at minus three. So you got your invulnerable saves. Although cover, the same thing. Three five ups. Oh, they're three damage a piece. So you've got three shrugs, three shrugs, three shrugs. Unless you want a CP one. I shall CP one of them. Oh, okay. No, okay. So first guy, three shrugs. He's dead. Next guy, three shrugs. He's dead. Next guy, three shrugs. That's the squad. Almost, almost kept the last guy alive, but not quite. Okay, and now I've got a billion heavy vulture shots into infiltrators, which were smoke screens. So this is gonna be really annoying as well. All right, bane blade, loads of heavy vultures into infiltrators. Hitting on fives because of your smoke screen, but if I hit on a five or six, I wound you anyway. So that's fine. Um, oh, so just four in the end. But okay, four at minus one, but they are all in cover from here. So four free up saves, but two damage. Uh, so you're fine. Okay, you survived the heavy bolters. Okay, auto cannon hit so hit on fours. They both also wounded. <laughs> Two more free ups. <laughs> okay, fine. Heavy stubber. Right, heavy stubber into the infiltrators. Uh, I missed every shot because you smoke screen. Brilliant. All right, I've just remembered this guy. He hasn't shot yet. Let's shoot him. Uh, Multi laser will hit on fours because you're slightly behind the trees, which is annoying. Missed every time. Um, heavy bolt will hit on fives. Yay! All two wounded. One at minus one. So four up. Hey, two damage. And um, then it's got some flashlights going in as well. Which will hit on fives. Got another auto wound. Free up save. Okay, you made that one. Okay, well, I've got extra two damage off here. Ooh, I might be able to kill you with the scout sensor now. Because the chainsaw is two damage, you know. Wow. I might be able to kill it. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to see. Um, what else have I got? They'd be on the room, they can't shoot. That's it for my shooting now, I think, Paul. You have survived in the middle. Your walkers, not so well. But that's, that's what happens when you've got big guns. They never tire. Um, I'm going to charge your wall suit with my um, scout sentinel. He's made the charge. Okay, right, yes. Scout Sentinel's gone into the war suit like that. I was hoping I could move around to get engaged, but I don't think I'm going to get it this turn because he couldn't quite go far enough, neither could he. But okay, fine. Right, chain sword into um, war suit thing. Oh, I'm going to hit you once. Oh, I'm not going to kill you now. Uh, I think I'm going to weed you on that because you're toughness six, aren't you? Six. So minus two, two damage. 
See? If I had an extra hit, I would have killed you then. Instead, you've got two wounds left. How annoying. You may now hit me back. Mario may do some fisting into my sentinel. You could do with a power-up mushroom, couldn't you, at the moment, with, with uh, Mario? Absolutely. Right, what's he hitting on now that he's only got two wounds left? Uh, five. Five. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, oh, he's still got a couple of hits. What's your strength? Uh, strength seven, but it's um, fist. It's a times two. two. Okay, so you're winning on twos then. Very nice. AP? Uh, AP three. Won't get any save. What's damage? Uh, damage three. Three. Oh, he's not wounded yet. Okay, cool. So he's got four wounds left. Okay. Fine, so that's a stalemate. Right, and that is the end of the guard's turn. So I'll have to work out some points and things, and then we'll be back for Ultramarines, turn two. Okay, here we are, Ultramarines, turn two. You're in the lead by quite a bit. You're 23 points to three, because you've got your free march from my crags off. Yes. So that was some good point scoring. Um, I'm not sure how much more you'd get for that one, but 12 out of 15 is not bad already, is it, really, for a secondary? That's turn two, that's, that's good. Um, so yeah, 24, 23 points to three because you had three objectives. Uh, no, you had two objectives, didn't you? Two yeah. primaries at the start of your turn, those two there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, okay. And then command phase, you gave your deficit is minus one hit from Tiggy. Then you've done a bit of moving. Yeah. Turn not come around the side. You pay a CP to fall back and re-engage with Invicta Mario over yeah. there. And then these guys all walk around the corner staring down at the Bane Blade. Yeah. And then my infiltrators snuck off into the shadows. Yeah, a bit of guerrilla tactics deployed there. They they bug it off, which I don't blame them because there was a bane blade in front of them. Exactly. So that makes sense. Although they did with withstand quite a lot of firepower, to be fair. <laughs> so um, yeah, okay. And then you decided not to bring your eradicators or your terminators down just yet. Not just yet. To keep them in your pocket or on the table. Yeah. That table, not this one. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, do you want to go into your psychic phase then? Yeah. So three years uh, shall cast um, psychic fortress. Yeah, okay, so I get Fortress so from Tiggy then, so you yes. need, was it a 5 or a 6, was uh, it? It goes up on the 6, but you get plus 1. Plus 1, so 5. Oh, look, it's gone off. I don't, I, my Null Coat is out of range at the moment, so that goes off. You get your 5-inch involved bubble thing, which will help you devastate it even more. So that's nice. Okay. Uh, Alright. Hmm, I don't know if anything can do much else. Maybe I'm not in range for Smite, and nothing's going to be able to charge. Uh, might hear it, maybe. Yeah, it goes up on the 6. So okay. Okay. Uh, and that was on Gunnerman. So Gunnerman is now a mighty hero in case he gets into combat somehow. Okay, cool. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, on to your shoot phase then, I guess. Let's see if it's as brutal as mine was. It won't be. No, I mean, you killed a Scout Sentinel last turn, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. What did you kill in return? Uh, and a Victor, a Redemptor, and your Death Squad. Yeah. But, yeah. But you infiltrated survived, so that was a thing. But, you know, you did run lots of things towards me, so I just popped out and shot them. But then again, if you if you hit them all, then you wouldn't have really shot much. So, that's the thing. Anyway, what are you starting with? Um, so, my Devastators will shoot into the... The Bane Blade? Bane blade. Are they? Yes. Okay, I could spend a CP to pot smoke. I can't be bothered. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they're going to do much. <laughs> but go for it. Let's see what they do. And you got rerolls from Gmail anyway, haven't you? So, I don't think it's going to really help. Yeah. So, um... Uh, sergeant gets to issue a signal to one of them to make them plus one to hit. Yep. So I do him first. Okay, so, so one, of, one of them's hit on twos. twos. Yep. Four, How many shots have they got each with their grab cannon things? Four. Four shots, okay. So four shots on one of them, which will hit on twos. Uh, on twos. Rerolling any ones, which there are two. Okay, so he's hit four times. What's the strength of the... Uh, strength five. So oh, so five. Five. So. Uh, so one. AP. You're technical doctor now, aren't you? Uh, minus three. Oh, that's All right, five of him, Bill. Oh no, two damage. Yeah? Two damage. Okay. Both dice are going down, and then you got four, eight, twelve shots hit on threes. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Hit on threes. We rolling. Because of the G man. Cool. And then winning on fives again. We all the one. I see a one there. That oh, didn't help. Uh, what's that? Five. Five. 
five minus two, isn't it? That's right. Can't minus three. Minus three. Uh, so I'll take two of those, two damage a piece, that's six damage. Okay, that's uh, and then I shall pop the young flying baby. Pop the flying baby. To allow the one that was issued the two plus to shoot again. Okay, sure. So four more shots hit the twos. Reroll it. Then we're going to fight. Rerolling once. No. no. That was worth it for a baby, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Um, okay. How far away? I'm out of your melter range, if that's what oh, you're thinking. Uh, what that is what I was thinking. Well, it would be 12 inches, isn't it? A melter. I thought it was 18 inches. Yeah, Tommy Melter. Melter guns are 12 inches. You can shoot the bolter if you really want to. I don't think it's going to do much. <laughs> no, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, 12 inches, you are correct. I know I'm saying it. Um, what? Roberto's. Range. Roberto. 24. It'll be a range. Yes. Robute is going to shoot it, is he? Hand of Dominion. Okay. Go for it. Three shots, hit on threes. Yes. Uh, hit on twos, in fact. My oh, apologies. Yes. At least don't mess up. Um, uh, we, uh, the toughest uh, nine, you win on fives. Strength six. Two. 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 Two out minus two. I'm fine. Boo. They're not boo. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what else you got? Um, I'm not going to shoot my victory because I kind of want to. Kill, kill the sentinel before the sentinel kills you. Yeah, yeah but I want to charge him so that I can get back, get the extra movement for the. Well, I mean, I've got a marine on the objective anyway. Oh, okay, so that's pointless then, so I might just shoot him. Yeah. In that case, I'll shoot him. Okay. Ah. Oh, dust don't count. Right. Nope. Oh, it can into the sentinel, hitting on fives. Here we go. That's not too bad for a poorly invictor. Yeah, so I've got three. Was you, yeah, it was three, yeah. yeah and you're winning on threes, I think, toughness six. Yeah, Strip seven. Strip seven, yeah. Three freeze. Cool, AP. Uh, minus one. Fives. Uh, two damage each, yeah? Two damage each. So that is a dead scout sentinel. Yay. Does it blow up? No. Right. Redemption Red Dreadnought into the Chimera now. Yep. So what are you starting with? Macro Plasma Doodle? Yep. Um, are you going to supercharge it? Extra damage? 12 hour damage left, I think. Uh, I've, got, I've got I've got eleven wounds on my tank. He's yeah, not he's not wounded yet. Yeah. Your one's lost a wound. Yeah, he did lose one earlier. He must have moved oh, the I must dice. Have, I must have moved him and then caught. Yeah, and took, picked up the dice. Yeah, <coughs> I shall. Because he shot in your turn, did more damage to himself, didn't he? he that, did, that was funny. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't funny. I thought it was. Yeah, so I'll um, that you're gonna supercharge it. Okay, yeah, so D six right. shots. D six shots. Yes. Six. I'm not gonna pop smoke. But um, I wasn't expecting you to get six shots, to be fair. Hit on freeze. Hit freeze, then. Smoke, smoke wouldn't have made any difference, so I'm glad I made that right life choice. We're <laughs> <laughs> winning on freeze. <laughs> uh, they'll go straight through, so that's nine damage. Two are remaining. Gatling cannon? I did two damage to myself at the same time. Oh, dear. He's really enjoying this whole hurting himself. Yeah, he is. He's in, yeah. He's and maybe the person inside that's like, no, I actually wanted to die the first time. Why did you put me in a? <laughs> Why on earth have you put me in a dreadnought? I yeah. wanted to die. Yeah. <laughs> well, only a death will duty end, but he will die soon. Indeed. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, eight shots. You are, yeah. See, smoke wouldn't have made any difference again. That see, uh, five strange. Two, an AP1, but I'm a trek, so back to normal. So, trick safe. I've got a wound left. Nipple bolters. you got eight shots at that range. You're rapid firing. There you go. Shooting bullets out your nipples. It's always, it's always a good time. You hit them freeze. Oh, smoke would have made a difference there, but they're only stun bolters. <laughs> Five to win. Oh, two. Two free ups because of armor tracks. And I'm good. Oh, and then and you've got Icarus and Rocket Pod for D3 shots. Which is free, that's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. on freeze. Uh, freeze. Very nice. And you're reading on fours, I think that's from seven. Seven, yeah. And AP one, so fours. There's a dead tank. Does it blow up? It does! I think you're too far away though. 
Right, infiltrators, some of them are just about range of this front infantry squad here, so you can get six shots off because of ultramarines and bolt display and things. So hit on freeze. Hit on freeze. Sure What's the real range of the bad ones? Yeah. Yeah, they can reroll ones. Yeah. Not close to six inches for the four year olds, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so. Hit on freeze, you're only ones. Six will also wound. Yep. And then you're winning these on freeze. So it's free. I think that. Oh. Oh, the um, lieutenant or Yeah. Let's check. Yeah. Okay, three, six, three came through at minus one, so I'm in cover, so five ups. You killed two guardsmen. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Cool, um, I think that's all your guns now. Killed a Sentinel and a Chimera, took some more wounds off the Bane Dader, but I've got 17 wounds left now, so you're slowly getting through it. Slowly. Yeah. Well, the stuff, the stuff it's taken away whilst I'm chipping them off is a little too expensive. Yes, I mean, you saw your eradicators in 10 minutes to drop in, but yeah, okay. Um, Any charges? No, Definitely there is, is there? Because the things you were thinking about charging, you shot to death. Yeah. So I got a little too excited. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so that's the end of your turn then, I guess. Indeed. So nothing for shot target, nothing for macros, but you did get some bring it down points, so that's a thing. So uh, we'll be back for guard, turn two. Okay, Imperial Guard, turn two. And I actually maxed my primary, because I had the two objectives here, the one over there. And you only had two. So I actually had two, three, and more. So that was good. I've done a bit of catching up on the points there. So it's now 26 to 15. Um, and the command phase, take an aim over here and remain vigilant again with the command squad. I full throttled the tank commander onto the Chimera, and then it bounced to the Vanquisher and the Sentinel. So they've all gone zooming off of that away. Although, actually, I might as well advance the Chimera, actually, because I can advance my shooters to the station here anyway. An extra inch! Yay! Yeah. Um, so that's that. They've just shuffled around this way. I haven't really got much to use the big gun on now, really, so I'll just shoot a Marine in the face for that. Uh, they're staying where they are. They're hidden behind that ruin. These infantry have all moved into the ruin a bit further. This Chimera has advanced along this way, so we can zoom off that way later on. Bane Blades just come back just a little bit because G-Man's on his way. And then these guys are staying still because I've got a LAS cannon. Oh, and the Scions have dropped in and they're retrieving data. So now I've done this quarter and this quarter. So that's four more, four more points there as well. Yeah. So that's fun, isn't it? It's also helping for Engage as well because now I've got all four quarters. It's magic. It's almost as if the, the list is built to get Engage and Retrieve, isn't it? Um, right, let's do some shooting because I haven't got any Psychic because I don't care about that nonsense with Guard. Um... Let's pay a CP on my Sentinel on Maverick Maneuvers. It's going to shoot you in Victor Warsuit with its heavy flamer. It will hit you three times and it will wound you on fives. It's wounded you twice actually at minus one. So you can actually kill your Warsuit with a heavy flamer. Two four up saves. Nope, it's got a wound left. That means you can move six more inches. So now I'm definitely getting engaged in all fronts. Right. Sentinel's now zipped over there. Chimera is going to shoot this ball through. I'm going to start off with the las guns because it's only got a wound left, and I thought I'd be trying to be a bit cheeky. So here we go. Fours, but wounding on sixes. I've got two already. Look, there we go. And sixes. Nope. So two free ups, and you've got one wound left. Yeah, I've got the war suit with a las gun. Explode. No. Well, no. I mean, if a las gun makes something explode, then there's something seriously wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, finished off with some las guns. Yeah. Okay, which means this tank's now free to shoot at other things and things, so that's good. Right, let's go over here and shoot this LAS cannon at that dreadnought, and I'll see if the plasma's in range as well. Yep, yeah, just a cheeky LAS cannon, so let's see, here we go. Bang! No, I've missed. Okay, fine, be like that. Let's see what else I can shoot. So I've got the infantry squads here, these tanks here, and the Bane Blade. Um, so let's shoot some infantry squads at your infiltrators, I think. Let's start with that. Right, okay, so everything for this infantry squad here is going to these infiltrators and you smoke screening again, because yes. that, that worked really well for the other unit earlier, didn't it? It did. Well, I'm not joking, know, it did. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, for once, I'm actually being serious. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm taking aim some plus one hit and plus one AP, but you're making me must one hit, so I'm about to hit on fours. So, last guns first, hit on fours. Can we roll the one because Strachan's still there? I've got a couple of auto wounds, and these will wound on fives. 
like that. So that's four AP one, but you're in cover. So four free ups from last guns. And your helix gauntlet will take one of those, and another guy will die. Look at that. Last guns for the win. <laughs> um, okay. And then I've got a bolt gun that's in range, which auto wounds. <laughs> so that's another free up because it's AP one. That's another wound off. And then let's shoot a plasma misses, and let's shoot a crack missile, which uh, misses. So okay, that's that unit done. And then the other unit will shoot them as well, but it's only the missile launcher range. Let's just shoot a crack missile. Can the other unit see them now though? He's yeah, yeah, you can see him, but he's missed anyway. Um, okay, so that's them done. They've killed a guy and got rid of healing scornlet. Okay, fine. They do need to die though because they are holding your objectives. Although well, you've got sticky objectives, haven't you? So they're going to be yours yes, anyway. True. Um, so it doesn't make a massive difference actually. Thinking about it, um, right? He needs to die. The only thing that can really see him is the bane blade because yeah. he's, he's hiding behind trees and ruining them things. But moving on to the Bane Blade, CP for ingrained precision, so fives and sixes will auto wound. I'm putting the two last cannons, the Bane Blade cannon and the Demolish cannon into that dreadnought. Let's get rid of you know another anti tank thing. And then all the heavy bolters and the auto cannon and the heavy stubber will go into your devastators, which are minus one hit and things. Um, so let's start off with the demolisher cannon into your dreadnought. Six shots! I'm bombing lots of sixes today. I do apologise, but Hey ho! Uh, <laughs> get it on fours and fives and sixes for auto. Whoa! Okay. Well, I mean that's five auto wounds. Oof. And that's another one. <laughs> Jesus! I think today is my day, Paul. Yes. Um, is that six at AB three on your dreadnought? I won't, I won't even need the other guns after that. I don't think. <laughs> no. No. no, you failed every save. He's all D six damage. Yeah, you did. I mean, they're all minus one, but yeah, you did. Yeah. Because <laughs> five, four, three, three, yeah. Like, okay, I wasn't expecting to get six shots and then get all of them to go through. That was a bit OP. But okay, fine. <laughs> I suppose that deals with that problem. Yes. <laughs> if anything, you should be happy because I've just now just wasted a load of other shots. That is true. Because mm -hmm. that would have gone in and the last cannons would have gone in. It's a good thing that it died that quickly, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Move on. Uh, 18 heavy bolter shots into your dudes there now. Right, 18 heavy bolter shots into them. They're going to hit them fives because you're prescient. They ever hit you on a five or also wound because they're in precision. So that's a thing. Um, so how many wounds have I got actually? Three, four, five, six. Six at AP one. And none of them cover, are they? No. So six four up saves on them. You don't say is. Uh, well, you made three of them. Okay, so three go through, two damage apiece. So two shrugs, two shrugs, two shrugs. Dot dice don't count. First guy dies. Next guy dies. Third guy dies. Kill three guys. Okay, that's not bad. Right, the auto cannon. Hit on fives and auto wound. No, okay. And then I've got a heavy stubber, which, oh, okay. Um, wounds you twice. No OP on that though, so three up saves. Yeah, it takes a wound, but you've got a shrug, Mr. Apothecary. Okay, so one takes a wound, but he's going to get healed in a minute, and then something will get picked up again as well. But I haven't shot these two tanks yet, Paul. No, no. so let's see what they can shoot at. Oh, look, I can still see that guy with no, the gatekeeper can't. tank commander. No, you can't. You can't no, see. no, your hand's in the way. No, yeah, no, you can't see it. <laughs> right, so he's going to put everything into them. Let's start with the uh, ones on a wound, aren't they? Let's start with the heavy bombers. Why not? Heavy bolt was these were hit on fives because you're minus one a hit. Um, and then freeze to wound. So four up minus one again. So four four ups. And they're two damage apiece. So two shrugs, two shrugs, two shrugs. So the Garner wound is dead, just about. And then the next guy is also dead. And then there's another guy, but. He's already dead. <laughs> Didn't even need Gatekeeper. Okay, fine. I guess that leaves Mr. Vanquisher Tank. Right, so they're dead. Vanquisher Tank Commander thing. I can't, if I could see G-Man, I would hit him with a Vanquisher Cannon, because that would be hilarious. But luckily for you, there's a ruin in the way. Yes. 
Right. Which is unfortunate. Um, so he's going to have to put everything into your infiltrators there. So let's start with the heavy bolts. He's going to have fives because of smoke. And all the hits have auto-wounded. I'm rolling so many sixes today. It's very annoying. It's, y- yes, I can imagine. Um, that's three at minus one, but you're in the ruin, so three ups. And you're fine. Okay. Last cannon. Misses. Uh, no, I'm not going to re-roll that hit. Vanquisher cannon. I can re-roll a hit because it was ten case. It hits and auto-wounds. It's AP5, so that guy on the wound is just dead. He takes... How much damage does he take? He takes nine damage. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy. Um, <laughs> whole thing to his face. And, his and then D3 face. more all wounds for another one. Okay, so another guy takes all wounds. God, he took a nine damage vanquisher cannon shot to the face. Poor guy. <laughs> what a hero. What a hero. Oh, dear. Um... I think that was a fairly, a fairly successful shooting face, Paul. Yes. Yes. yes I would say that. Um, I know you've got lots of things to come in, but as it stands, you've got like five models on the board. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, Bane are so good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, I guess I'll work out points and we'll have the ultra to turn three, and you can have some reserves come in and try and kill something. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Right, it's Ultramarine's turn three, and the rest of the army's turned up. Yeah. Because uh, most of it's been blown up. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you still get uh, four in the primary, because you still have those two objectives, because of sticky objectives and space marines and things. Uh, your infiltrators have retreated, they're hiding, which is good, because I actually don't have any interactive fire, so that's a clever move. Over here, G-Man and the characters have advanced onto this objective here, again, hiding behind the ruin. Keeping safe, just keep getting the points, because if you, cut, if you start running into the open... Although there's light cover and dense cover, you probably get shot at. Um, eradicators have come on from reserves. They're here. They're trying to cut, kill the Bane Blade. It's doable. It's only got 17 wounds. That's a lot of shots there. Lots of damage. These infiltrators have come back. They're going to try and kill these Scions. If they don't succeed, I don't know what's going on, but they should be able to. Uh, and your Hammerators have dropped down. Yes. You're going to try and uh, smash open another tank for some more Bring It Down points. Yeah. It's hammer time, apparently. Can't touch this. Well, um, the intention is to touch it. Oh, okay, right, fine. <laughs> um, did you want to go into your psychic phase? Yes, please. Okay, I'm out of deny range again because I'm all the way over here, and you ran all the way over there. Indeed, I did. You did, indeed, you did. So, I guess I'll cast smite on those sounds first. Makes sense to me. Go for it. <clears throat> Which one do you want? Five, I Yeah, so for you, it's a four, and it because you get plus one. So, yeah, again, that's gone off. <laughs> D3 mortal wounds. Oh, you killed two signs. Uh, ow! That's painful. <laughs> uh, then what else are you going to do? Um, you could Might of Heroes the sergeant. Or something, yeah, couldn't you? So he's a bit, yes. bit more punchy on the charge if they, if they survive getting shot at. I shall do that because there's no point doing... No point doing defensive much. things because I can't it's see the, you anyway. No, exactly. Yeah. Yes, I'm not going to five for three years, so well, I get to re-roll. He gets to re-roll, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Well, never mind. <clears throat> okay. I mean, you could do... If you do your psychic bubble thing, the eradicators will get it, I guess, if you get psychic fortress. That's too late now. Oh, he can only cast two, can he? I believe so. Yeah. Pretty sure he can only cast two. Yeah. He knows smoke free. Oh. Yeah, manifest two psychic powers. Oh, well, you failed the second one even after the re-roll, so no matter what you were casting, it would not happen. No, thanks for reminding me. That's all right. Um, Indeed, shooting phase then. Hopefully, it'll be better than your psychic phase. Let's hope so. Yes. Where are you going to start? I should start with my my main hope. My eradicators. Eradicators. Bang blade. Into the blade. Pop and smoke. What does that matter? Actually, you're going to be at minus one anyway, aren't you? Because you came from reinforcements. No, I'll keep that. Well, you said you're going to do it now. No, that's fine. (laughs) Uh, Right. So you got six shots. You hit on fours, but you get four re rolls because of the G man. Which is just as well. <laughs> That's better. Very Everything's hit. The problem is now that you're winning on fives. Toughness nine. <laughs> no, yes. Mm, uh, yes. But you get to reroll ones because he's a G man. And you got a couple. Did you want a CP one as well? How many CPs have you got? I have one CP. Oh. Mm. Mm. I kind of not the one thing. I mean, two isn't going to kill it even if you get eight damage each. I will, I will get invulnerable saves, yes, though. I shall. No. Well, two invulnerable saves. Five ups. I make one, so D6 plus two damage, because they're heavy melters. Yeah? Indeed, yes. If I was that person. Yeah. 
So seven damage. Ow. I mean, I'm poorly now. I'm definitely poorly. You wounded the beast. Okay. Uh, and you got what? Some infiltrators shooting some silence. Indeed. Cool. You got four there, so eight shots. Hit it on freeze. We're going to roll ones as well. I'm pretty sure two miles within 12. And the sixes will auto wound. So it's two auto wounds. It's, it's fun when six is auto wound, isn't it? It's, it's great when that happens. You hit, you hit on freeze. Yeah, freeze. I wasn't sure because I came in, obviously. Yeah, uh, so they're, they're not heavy. Uh, Winning on freeze. Um, okay, no, so no, 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 because it's six. Okay, so three then. Three AP1, I'm guessing, tactical doctrine. Yeah. Five ups. Kill two more scions. Good. Which means there is two remaining. Yes, let's do that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is G-Man's gun an assault weapon or a rapid fire weapon? He... Rapid fire. Oh, we can't shoot it then. No. Oh dear. I mean, they'll probably die when you charge them, to be fair. These guys got guns. That's true. So what's that? Six. Yeah, because you, you can shoot as if you're a range because ultra range, so bolt yeah. discipline. Six shots. Six will also wound. Isn't it nice when sixes also wounds? It's great, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you yeah. suddenly start noticing, noticing the sixes more when you do that. <laughs> uh, so you've got three wounds. Three five ups. And you kill the silence. There we go. But they did their job. They came in, found some data, and then died. <laughs> so that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> right. Um, hammer time? Indeed. Charging the Zikamira, I'm, I'm assuming. Yes. It would be nine inches, and you do have a CP because you kept it, didn't you? Just just for this very moment. Oh no, you spent it on a reroll. Re oh no, it's a nine inch. Because you teleported. Oh dear. I'm not going to overwatch. Oh dear, it's a seven. <sighs> well, they might survive. I mean, most of them are hidden behind trees. To be fair, so you, you might be all right. Okay, they're definitely going to be hitting things next turn. Any other charges? I'm guessing not. No. No. Okay. Well, you didn't get any bring it down points. Although he's getting very close. When you kill him, it's four points. You get in there. Oh, well, I'm going to have like no, like only one unit left by the time. Oh, some G-man can run through here, and then, you know. um, and then yeah, that's it, isn't it? So okay, all right. Guard turn three. Right, Astro Militarum on turn three. I've only scored eight on the primary this turn, because you're on three objectives, I'm on three objectives, so that's fine. Um, command phase, essentially the same orders have happened here again. Take aim, re remain vigilant. I've done Gunner's, Gunner's Kill on sight with my tank commander on himself, and the Vanquish got it as well, because it bounced. And that's about it, really, in the command phase. These guys stay still. This Chimera zipped round here. The Bane Blade shuffled forwards to get out of his way, basically. Um, these tanks have come around here to shoot the Terminators. The Chimera has gone over there, so that if you do charge the Chimera, then you're over here and not over here. Um, Sentinel's gone this way. He's going to flame some Terminators, and the Silence have dropped down to retrieve some more data. So that's then this quarter, that quarter, that quarter. We've got one left, and I've got a squad here to do it. Assuming they don't die, but I think your Terminators have got bigger fish to fry, to be honest. Um, so let's go straight into the shooting phase, and essentially I've got to put effort for this Bane Blade into those Eradicators, because if I don't. He'll die, and that's lots of bringing down points for you. Mm. So I'm going to try and kill that. It's currently as it stands, 31 points to the Garden, 34 to the Ultramarine. So you are still in the lead, and you do have sticky objectives and things. So you're still going to keep scoring primary, but you need to start getting shot tactics and bring it down, which just isn't working for you at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but okay, so let's start with the Bane Blade. Let's spend a CP on ingrained precision again, because that's what you do with Bane Blades. Uh, he's going to put every into those eradicators. Okay, so transhumaning. Okay, fine. Right, big gun on the top. Three d six shots. So that's what nine, nine, eight, nine. I'm a bit poorly, so I'm only hitting on fours now with a big gun, not threes. But fives and sixes will also wound. Like that, and that will be another four to transhuman. No, so that is three at minus three. So we well, got two in cover to be fair. So you can do two, two, two five ups. Let's see how you do. 
Oh, and then a six up. Oh, and they're, they're all flat free damage. So you got oh, you got the the apothecary range, aren't they? Because you did the big aurora thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three shrugs, three shrugs, three shrugs. So the first guy dies. Second guy dies. Third guy. Oh, he has a wound left. Okay, so you got a guy left on a wound. Right. Let's shoot some last cannons in his face. Also wounded. Um, six up. <laughs> six damage. I mean, you can get six shrugs on a wound? No. I've seen it done before, Paul. Really? I, I, I seem to remember I did it against you. <laughs> I erased that from my memory. Yes. Come on, you, you can do it. I mean, I've got loads of other shots, but there's a chance. There's a chance. No, no there's no he's chance. dead. He's dead. Okay, I'm mean, going shot an entire Bane Bane into them, but they needed to die, so that's fine. Right. Okay, then. Nothing over here can shoot. Oh, God. No, I don't think you can see them, can he? Because that's, that pillbox is in the way. No. Okay. There's not really much else to shoot apart from this lot into those Terminators. Let's see if you turn it since five. Heavy flamer from the Scout Sentinel hits you six times. Oh, I'm rolling so many sixes today. Reading all threes. It's minus one, but you got Storm Shield, so two up saves. Five of them. And you're fine. Right. Chimera, everything into Terminators. Multi laser. Freeze. And then freeze. One at minus one, but you got Storm Shield, so it's safe. <laughs> You're fine, <laughs> right. Heavy Bolt there. And then freeze. No. Lots of Maz guns. <sighs> Flashlights from the Chimera into the Terminators. Ooh, look at that. So many sixes today. It's ridiculous. Fives. It's another one. Five, two up saves on your Terminators. You better roll a one at some point. No? Okay, fine. That's so he's done. Right, moving on to the next thing. Let's move on to the gatekeeper tank who ignores cover. That sounds like fun. Let's shoot the big cannon of doom. Which is smaller than that cannon of doom, but it's still a cannon of doom. Uh, that is eight shots. You hit your freeze because he doesn't care about the trees. And you can roll ones because he told himself to kill on sight. Some have also wounded. These were wound on. Two, six, strength nine. Ooh. These are minus three, but you got storm shields. So they are all four plus in vulnerable saves. But they are flat three damage each. So if you roll five, five twos, threes, or ones, they're, they're all dead. I've killed one. Oh my god, they didn't die. Okay, fine, 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 fine. fine. So one's down. Last cannon. Uh, misses. Uh, heavy bolses. Falls. Oh, 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 those are missed as well. Okay. Hmm. Right, fine. Vanquisher tank. <laughs> Let's shoot the Vanquisher cannon. <laughs> so hit on a four because of the trees. It's auto wounded. It's AP5 and it ignores your invulnerable save. So it's a one up save. Which comes to, You get a six up save actually. Because oh. he's storm shield. Oh, oh. nearly. Uh, so, yeah, so one guy takes 6 plus D3 damage, he's dead, and then I do D3 mortal wounds, and take 2 wounds off another one. So that's nice. <clears throat> so one's got a, one's got a wound. Uh, heavy bolters, which will hit on fires because of the trees, I can reel the ones. And there's a wound on a 3, nope, and then I've got a last cannon. I can reel the hit. Misses, okay. So I've shot all of that in Terminators and just killed two. Hmm. Um, crack missile. And everything else from them. So let's start with the crack missile. I can reel the one. Strachan's there. It misses anyway. Brilliant. Let's check some range. All right. Plasma guns in range as well. Here we go. That misses. Brilliant. Bolt guns in range. That wounds. But you get to up save because AP1 but Storm Shield. Oh! That's cheeky. Unless you want a CP there. You want a CP? No. Oh. Uh, got some last guns. Five last guns. Visual hit on fours because of the trees. I can reel the one. Strachan. That's wounded. He's been on fives. 
Two more tip saves. Because AP1, but shields. No, you're fine. Other squad. Crack missile. Hit. Doesn't wound. And then the plasma. Misses. No, the plasma was out of range anyway, but it missed. Uh, two las guns from that squad are in range, though. And one is also wounded. Two up save. You're fine. Hmm. Um, I ran out of guns, Paul. They can't see them. That crate's in the way. He advanced. He shot everything at the eradicators and eradicated them. They've just done their thing. They've done their thing. That's it. That's it. Do I charge them with a scout sentinel? Yeah, let's charge them with a scout sentinel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, I'll have to check. Right. Sentinel. I've gone in. Hit on fours. Look at that. And then it'll wound on a three. Oh, poo. Right, you can smack with Sentinel back now. So I'm assuming one's a sergeant. Yeah. And then you've got another guy, so you should have four, seven attacks? Seven attacks. Yeah, hit on fours. Ah. Oh, you missed quite a few there, don't you? Wounding on threes. Three, six of saves. Yeah, that's a dead Sentinel. Uh, does it blow up? I'm doing more wound to you. Go on. Oh, no. He's dead. Ultramarines turn four and you're still scoring primary. You got eight because you had three objectives. Because it was digging objectives and things. Mm -hmm. So it's now 43 points to 37. Um, so I scored a bit more for retrieve and engage and things. But that was about it. Because uh, my army spread out a bit far at the moment. So inflexible command isn't really working. Because I'm having to spread out to shoot things, really. But shooting has been effective. Um, <laughs> in your turn, um, you ran your infiltrators over here. That they're, they're now marching from a crag on that objective, which is the last one over here that needed to be done, really. And once that's done, you'll max that. And I've got no way of killing them, really. So that should be good. These guys are running around here. And your terminators have positioned themselves to hit a tank in the butt with a hammer. Yes. Um, yeah. And you call the assault doctrine, obviously, for obvious reasons. Being that all your guns are in a pile over here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you want to go into the psychic phase? Of course. Oh, uh, you gave prescience thing to Tiggy. So you, uh, no, to G Man. So you yeah. nice one to hit. Yeah, which makes sense because if you get shot by Mister Baneblade in the face, mm -hmm. which you um, probably will anyway. To be fair, but still. Yes. Um, yeah. So um, <coughs> here cast the might heroes on Dylan, just in the, for, primarily for the extra toughness. Yes, the extra toughness might might come in handy. Yes. Yes. That has uh, gone off. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do. So you can't see anything to smite it. It's like a fortress isn't really going to help you. No, because I, I can't see the other guys anyway. No. So, okay. All right. Shooting phase. It's going to be quite a short shooting phase, but G-Man can shoot something. Yeah, you should be able to see the tank, can you? Can you, see he, I mean, you can see the bang bang no matter what, and you can see the chimera as well. So yeah. you can take your pick. I'll shoot the, shoot the chimera. Okay, soften it up a bit. So free shits? Uh, free shits? Uh, free, free hits? You can have, you can have free shits if you want. Wow. Uh, right, <laughs> shoot, shoot the camera then. So you hit on twos. Like that. Yeah. And you're really on fives. Time seven. So, one? AP? Yep. Uh, minus one. I'm fine. Two. Worth a go. Um, right, charge phase. Yep. Into the yeah, of course, yeah. Go on. Oh, and you're fine. Oh, They're in. Was that a nine? You needed that last turn, didn't you, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. I, are you going to give yourself plus one hit with Fury of the First? I shall. Yes. Yeah. Worth it. Let's kill that tank. Get you a couple more points for bring it down. But at this point, you've got to try and get as many points as you can Absolutely. before you die, basically. Because you are in the lead. Just. Just, but you are. So, points are still a thing. And we all know what points are making. Prizes! Exactly. Alright, Hamilton is hitting on freeze with Fury of the First into the Chimera. Uh, see, you got a free there, look, it made a little bit of difference. And you're really on freeze. Two. Oh, that's not enough to kill it, Paul, unfortunately. But I don't think three would be either. Uh, <laughs> sixes. <laughs> <laughs> I've already lots of sixes today, Paul. <laughs> that would have been six damage, but instead it was nothing. This is not funny. I thought it was hilarious. Can I drive into your terminators now? I hit on sixes. Oh, I miss every time, look. 
I only get sixes when I need to, you see. Uh, <laughs> that's the end of your turn, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, you scored nil point. Yeah. Uh, but you are marching over there. So we'll move on to guard turn four. Okay, it's the guard turn four. Um, game CP. CP is for everyone. Um, okay, so orders and things. Uh, Strachan told one unit to move and move. They ran over there. Um, with an advance, he told the other unit there to take aim, and then the platoon commander told that unit to take aim as well. So that's what's going on there. Tank commander ordered himself to kill on sight, bounce to the vanquisher. Kamira uh, is reversed, wondering what on earth that banging is on the back door, because it didn't do any damage. So at least now we can see what knocked on the door. Uh, these guys here are going to retrieve data. So then that's all four quarters done. Uh, the Scions are just staying back there, getting me some engage points. Over here, I've done some shuffling with the Beyblade and the Chimera. And also Strachan and my Tet Priest running over here to help me get flexible command so all my vehicles and things were in 12 of officers. And I put a wound on the Bane Blade just because I could, really. Yeah. The Tet Priest has spent the last three turns running over there to try and help it. But um, he's eventually got there. Um, so yeah, let's start doing some shooting because I don't care about psychic. Uh, let's shoot um, a freak from the Vanquisher tank into those Terminators. None of them were wounded, are they? Yep. No. Vanquisher cannon. I've missed. I can re-roll a hit. Now it's hit. It's wounded. One of them's... Oh, you get a six up save, don't you? Because you've got a one up. No, one of them's dead. The other one takes D3 mortal wounds and is also dead. So he shot the he shot one straight through the head. And it went through his head and into the other one's head. Yeah. That's what he's doing. It's, 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 a, it's a sniper headshot with a cannon. That's what that is. <laughs> so skilled. He was trained at the Vindicare Temple. <laughs> or, or maybe some Ratlins taught him how to shoot. I don't know. That's probably more believable, wouldn't it? Um, right, well, he's got nothing to shoot at now. <laughs> so, okay. Um, Bane Blade can see G-Man, though. So let's see. Let's spend a CP on ingrained precision with the Bane Blade. And shoot everything from the Bane Blade into G-Man. <laughs> but he is minus one hit. Yes. So that's a thing. I don't know if you want to transhuman him or not. That's uh, Can you not? Has he not got the Primaris keyword? No. I suppose he's not Primaris, is he? Because he's he's a he's a Primark, not a Marine. Yes. Oh, well, that's a shame. But you got a free open ball, you'll be fine, right? Um <laughs> three D six for the cannon. Uh okay. I'm rolling more sixes. But I also got a one, so that cancelled out, didn't it? So six. Not really. No, <laughs> not not for the whole game, no. no. Uh, right, that many shots. Uh, you minus one to hit. Uh, so I'm hitting on... Because turret gives me plus one to hit, so it's back on normal, which means I'm hitting on fives with that, I think. Yes. Yes, fives with the turret. Uh, but fives and sixes will also wound, so that's fine. Oh, it's only three. Three, three plus invulnerable saves. Three damage a pop. As they go, pop, 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 into G Man. He's fine. Okay, be like that. The laser cannons. Both miss. The auto cannon. One wounds, AP1. So, free up. Okay, fine. Um, Alright, demolisher cannon, just about in range. So, here we go. Four more shots with the demolisher, which will hit on. Uh, sixes, actually, for this. That's also wounded. There we go. So, free of invulnerable save. Okay, fine. Let's get the heavy bolters out. <laughs> right, many heavy bolter shots. I need sixes, but they will also wound. There's three. There we go. So, three free ups, two damage apiece. He's taken four damage, but has he? There's an apothecary there. No, he's taken two. Brilliant. I'm, assume, I'm assuming Apothecary's work with the G-Man. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, I've got Heavy Stubber. Let's not forget the Heavy Stubber. Oh, it's actually auto wounded you twice, look. That's cheeky. Two up saves, though. But you never know. <laughs> cheeky little Heavy Stubber. Uh, no, you're fine. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, baby, baby sitting on six is not so great. He's a bit poorly in your prescience. Uh, all these guys, they're taking aim. Uh, they can see G-Man with that last cannon. Let's shoot a last cannon. It's hit. 
It's wounded. Three plus one will save. Damn. Uh, <laughs> right. This Chimera? No, he advanced. Because I was thinking about moving him over there. So never mind. Um, I think that's it for my shooting. Because they've moved, moved, moved and advanced. Terminators are dead. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I'll get some points. And we're going to Ultramus turn five to see if G-Man can actually do something. <laughs> other than just tank some shots from a tank. From a tank, Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's uh, it's the end game for the Ultramarines, although we're not Marvel, so don't say anything. A uh, bit of DC moment, because we've got Superman coming around the corner. Yes. Um, so what have you done? So you've got your eight primary points, and essentially, and you've got your march from a crack points on that objective with the Infiltrators. Yeah. And basically, you're coming for a Chimera now to try and get some more Bring It Down points. Exactly. And, and you will actually get shot tactics as well, although I do actually have ten guys in this one. So I could just get out and go on the objective. You but, you, but you kill the Chimera, it's two more points. So that's the thing. Um, what have you done? You, you've made him minus one a hit. Mm-hmm. You've run everything around the corner. The apothecary's advanced to heal him. And you, you're coming for me. Yes. I've, I've made G-Man angry by killing nearly every single Ultraman on the board. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right, so Very go, angry. So going into your psychic phase, I mean, you are, you are just about ahead on points as it stands at the moment, but obviously I'm yet to have my turn five. Yes. So that's it's going to be quite a close finish, to be fair. Although looking at what's left on the table... You wouldn't think it was close. No, no, not at all. But um, to be fair, if you didn't have the be- um, the bane blade, is pretty much been just. Oh, well, it, it just soaks up so much firepower, and it does quite a bit of damage as well. To be fair, but yeah, oh, well, fun times. Yes, uh, right. Uh, so psychic, yes. what, are you, what are you doing first? Uh, so I shall uh, cast Bane of Time on Gilliman. Okay, cool. Try and make him reroll his charges. Yep. Yeah, so it goes off on a six, but. Gets plus one surprise. That's all. Cool, one that's one. gone off. Nice. Okay. And then I'll also cast Mighty Heroes on him as well. Mighty Heroes, make him tougher. Which also goes off. Because he's not a Mighty Hero normally, so you need to cast Mighty Heroes to make him a Mighty Hero. He's just a, well, he's an epic hero. Okay. So, so that means he's really small, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, that's your psychic phase done. Um, shooting? Yep, you, gonna... You've got some guns. Yeah, Gillen will shoot. What's he, what's he going to shoot at? Um, how many wounds is the Connery he's got? 11. Oh, I can probably sort him out. Um, sort him out? Yeah. It's not very nice. Yeah. I'll shoot him into the um, into the bane blade. The bane blade? Yes. Okay. Why not? Um, I'll pop smoke just because I've got CP. I might as well spend it. There we go. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so hit on freeze now. Hit on freeze. Bring any misses? Oh, I didn't help. Uh, you moving on fives? I'm guessing. Toughness nine. There's one. AP. Uh, well, not minus two, but it's fine. If you keep if you keep rolling sixes at forty k, you win. That's, that's, that's <laughs> something I figured out today. Uh, <laughs> that's where I'm going. Wrong. That's where you're going wrong. Yeah. Uh, what other guns have you got? Infiltrators? Yeah. You've got a few guns. So, four shots. Four shots? You're not in tactical dodge anymore, are you? No, no. 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 Sure. I knew that. What are they shooting at? Um, they might as well also shoot at the bang bang. I mean, whatever you shoot at, I'm going to get to a safe, so it makes no difference, really. Mm. Um, question, can they? Can they shoot them? I don't yeah, know. Let's measure. 13 strings, aren't they? Uh, 24, I think. Yeah. Right. Bolt carbines, bang blade. Yeah. So you hit on four to pop smoke. Yeah. But G Man's right there, so I mean you could just re-roll everything. Fish for sixes, that's yeah, what I would do. No, that didn't make any difference. But you've hit twice. And then you're winning on sixes. Oh, and you can re-roll the one to the wound as well. I knew that. Nice. Touch save. Just, just roll just roll sixes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Simple philosophy. <laughs> uh, it's so simple. Um, charges? You charges. Got, you got a 10 inch charge because of his plus one, and you can re roll because of Vale of Time Dude. into the Chimera. Off you go. Best of luck. Oh, you made it. That's your 10. Didn't even need the re roll. Ah! In he goes. The G Man. Right. G Man's made it. Finally. Getting around to doing something other than just allowing you to re roll dice. <laughs> um, you you want to use your Hand of Dominion. Yes. Because you normally use the sword, so you're, so you're a bit bored. Yes. Yeah. But I, fist is generally more better. More better. Not There's nothing better than fisting a tank either. 
Because hitting it with hammers definitely didn't work. No, that's true. So, so I'm used, I'm try the next best thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go for it. So, hitting on twos. Yeah. Like that. There we go. So, they've all hit. Top of the seven, your strength with the fist is? Uh, do I put one? the plus one onto plus his face one. or onto the outer of the... Because so, so times you, two. Yeah, so, so you times two and then you plus the one. Okay, so that would be 15. Okay, so you win your twos. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. AP? Because uh, you're in the Assault Doctrine? Four. I don't get any saves. That's definitely a dead tank. So that's four damage on each. Yeah, it's definitely a dead tank. Does it blow up? No. Two of my guys get out and die screaming, going, Ah, it's G-Man. Yeah, they get out and the gun and Primark stood in there. Uh, and one of them dies getting out. Right, so the Chimera's dead, the Guardsman's dead, you can sort it a little bit, and that is the end of the Ultramarines, turn five, and the end of your point scoring. So we'll be back for the Guard, turn five, to see if he can stay alive. Okay, it's Astro Militar on turn five, so um, let's see how we can finish this game with some fun. Um, essentially, Strachan's ordered the infantry squad that came out of the Chimera and the infantry squad he was next to to fix bayonets, and he's going in. They're going to sort out G-Man in combat because we are honourable Katachans and that's how we do things. Um, I, I could kill him with guns, but that's a bit boring. So let's, let's shove a bayonet up his you-know-what. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, over here, uh, all the, te the tech priest put some more wounds on the Bane Blade. He put three more wounds on it this time, which is nice. Um, tank commander ordered gunners can on sight again uh, and then shuffled around a bit. These guys moved on to that objective, nicked that objective. Scions ran this way to get within six of that tank commander for secondary purposes for inflexible command. So I think should now be within range for inflexible command points and things, which is fantastic. So let's start things off. Let's do ingrained precision and uh, let's do um, Bane Blade effing into those infiltrators. Right, so yes, Brain Blade, ingrained precision, dividends in the command phase, so it's at the four profile because so I just wanted to kill things and you're doing. Smoke screen and transhuman. Try and keep them alive. Fine. Be like that. Um, so let's start with the Bane Blade Cannon. We sure we have that many shots. I've only got one CP left. No, okay, that's fine. Okay, five. Five shots with the big gun. Okay. So you're making use of minus one hit, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this would hit on three. Now it's hit on fours. And five and six is auto. Oh. So just one auto wound. Minus three, so you get a six up save. And you got healing spawn, but that's gone. Right. Last cannons. No, that's it. I'll tell you what. Auto cannon. Both misses. Okay, right. Let's do some heavy bolters. Six. All of these dice. <laughs> Blap. Um, fives. And every one will auto wound. Ingrained precision. It's a, an amazing strat on a bane blade. Uh, so that is seven at minus one. So seven four ups on the um, infiltrators. That's what they're called. They are called that. Yeah. yeah. Four ups, yeah. Yes, minus one. Uh, oh, oh. But luckily you've got shrugs. You've got a poffery there. So two shrugs, five times. So, first two, he's dead. Next two, he's dead. Next two, he's dead. These shrugs are doing well. Next two, he's dead, and that's the squad. Mm -hmm. Oh. Your Puffy hasn't really done much today, has he? Not really. And he, he healed G-Man a bit, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm glad the Heavy Bolters did it, because the other guns weren't doing anything. Um, okay, right. Fine. This lot, okay, right, let's shoot the Vanquisher cannon at the Apothecary. <laughs> All right. Because you gave him armor indomitus, yeah? Which gives yes. him invulnerable save? He, he ignores invulnerable saves. Ah. <laughs> but I am shooting through trees, so I'm going to hit you on a four. All right? I can reel once to hit because he was ordered to. Oh no! Last cannon. Oh no! Uh, I haven't done a re-roll A hit yet, so let's try that. Oh no! Heavy bolters. Fives. Hey, did something. And then freeze. 
No, oh, just one at minus one on your apothecary. So it's a free up, yeah, because you got two up or something. Ah, yeah, you had one job, which was to snipe a character with a vanquished cannon. Okay, fine. But well, he's been doing it all game, so one time. He will shoot everything into um, someone. Right. Tank commander, gatekeeper, and last cannon into Tagarius. Let's start with the gatekeeper, which will be six plus D3. It's a nice nine shots. Oh, that is fantastic. It will hit on freeze, because he doesn't care about the trees. I see what you did. Oh, I know. It's nice. And he can reroll ones to hit because he ordered himself to. I keep rolling ones into ones now. <laughs> they also wound. And strength nine, so twos. So that is eight. But minus three. So eight, six up saves. Uh, you didn't make. Oh, you, you made a couple, actually. But... We'll take those out. You'll have lots of shrugs. That many times three. Uh, no, sweet. He he's like, yeah, he's, yeah he's like. Bye bye, Tigarius. Okay, so I've killed something while under the influence of an order. That's points. That's good. That means prizes. Shall I leave the apothecary alone? No, let's shoot him with some last cannons and things. I've got a last cannon here. Let's shoot that at the apothecary. I've hit. I've wounded. <laughs> Um, did you want to activate your invulnerable savey thing? Yes. Okay, go yeah, on then. Yeah. Oh, decent damage. Oh, command point. Uh, oh, still one second. <laughs> Fine, right, I'm going to ignore that now. Right, let's charge over here. Let's send in Mr. Strachan. He's in. Let's send in Guardsman Squad number one and Guardsman Squad number two. So five inches, four inches. Right, I've charged loads of things, including the Bane Blade. Uh, and you want to overwatch Draken, so yes. okay, off you go. You hit so on sixes. Six, six. Any. Oh, you're getting three times. Might do some damage here. Uh, toughness four. Strength six. He's fine. Minus one. Uh, what's damage? Uh, two damage each. It takes two wounds. Okay. So we've got four left, I think. I will check. Right. Combat. Let's start with Strachan. He's going to hit you on twos. Oh, no, you made yourself minus one hit, didn't you? Yeah. The G-Man with Tiggy's thing. It's okay. So hit on threes then. Okay. Uh, and six is double explode. Strachan's an absolute weapon. Uh, strength 6, but you're tough as 7 because of Mighty of Heroes, yeah? So, winning on 4, so I'm getting plus 1 a wound. And then you're a monster, so I can re-roll the wounds. Oof. So, they're all minus 3, 2 damage. But luckily for you, you do have a free plus invulnerable save. But there is 8 of them. <laughs> He's such a boss for 75 points, it's ridiculous. If, like, if that was a unit of intercessors, they'd just be dead. Yeah, that's For a little guardsman, essentially. So, free of invulnerable saves, off we go. Everyone's two damage. <gasps> it's eight damage on G-Man! <laughs> I'm striking. He's still alive. He's alive on a wound. Uh, I mean, you got CP. Did you have a CP one of those? No, he's my last CP to watch. Oh, that was, oh dear, okay. All right, well, he's he he fight first at the moment, isn't he? Because you did Veil of Time and Light of Heroes. Yeah. So, so you, you can essentially interrupt now and hit either the Bane Blade or the Guardsman. Should I go for the Bane Blade? Try and get, bring it down points? Yeah. Killing the Guardsman isn't going to get you anything. Strachan almost killed G-Man in one hit. That's <laughs> impressive. impressive. Uh, so most oh, impressive. Again, the fist. Luckily, you were minus one a hit, really, and the extra toughness. Yeah, that could have been a lot more painful. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, what are you going for, Bang Blade? Yeah. Okay, right. So, what are you doing? Hand of Dominion? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, all right. Hit on twos. Hit on twos. Don't need two. Ones. Cool. And your strength is, what did you say it was? Uh, so, it's what, 15? Yeah, so threes. Toughness nine. Oh, you dropped quite a few there. Oh, dear. Mm. AP lots, but 5 plus in multiple saves. So, what, what's the damage of these each? Uh, oh, it was um, AP 4, by the way. Yeah, in multiple oh, saves. Fair enough, uh, 4 damage each. 4 damage each, so you've done 8 damage. So you could have potentially killed it. 
could have done. That would, that would be an extra four bring it down points then. Mm. Worth a go. Okay, let's drive into the Bane Blade. Right, the adamantium tracks of the Bane Blade will hit you on fives. And they'll wound you on threes. Mm. Oh no! I could have ran Gulliman over with a Bane Blade. <laughs> Eliminate minus two. That could have killed you then. Okay, right. Loads of guardsmen. Right. First infantry squad hitting G-man, hitting on fours because fixed bayonets, but you're prescient. So I can hit on fours. And I can reroll ones because Strachan's still alive. And because he ordered them, these sixes also wound. And then these are wound on what? Tough, what's your toughness? Seven. Uh, okay, so sixes. No, but that is free. An AP1. Will some bayonets bring down G-Man? Tune in to find out. Uh, oh, yes. he's lost another wound. He's only got one wound left. Oh, is that, is that he's dead? Yeah. He's been brought down by a humble sergeant with his chainsword. Or his bayonet and his little knife. Oh, dear. Didn't even get to fight with every unit. No. Well, oh. Will he stand back up? Will he stand back up? Uh, no, he is properly dead. Probably because they knock him down and they all jump on top of him so he couldn't stand back up there. So he thought, bugger this, I'll press a button and disappear. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's because Strachan basically knocked him unconscious. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that was fun. Okay, well, let's work out some points and things. Right, okay, we've done totting up of scores and things and it's closer than it should be, really, considering what's left on the board. Yes, absolutely. Um <laughs> but yeah, sticky objectives definitely helped you. Yes, must be Because so. lots of things died and you still held on primary. And um, one of your secondaries was very, very good. The other one got you nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you got seven for bring it down because basically I killed most of your anti tank very quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mean, you, you did well against the Bang Blade, but it's still here. Um, but I did put four extra wounds back on it. So in, in theory, you took 28 wounds off a Bang Blade. It's not bad. It's more than most people do. <laughs> so you've got seven, bring it down. Nothing for shot tactics because you never actually nicked an objective. Because no. I, I just sort of hung back, really, and you didn't really run at me. You just sort of, you were playing very cagey as well, hiding because of guns. Yeah. Uh, March from a crag, obviously, you got 15 because you had that one, that one, that one, that one. That's that. That's fine. Uh, and then you got 30 for primary, which, again, stick objectives help with. Otherwise, you would have got a lot less than 30 on your primary. Yeah, um, guard primary I got 45 because at the end of the game I had that one for an extra 5 essentially for the end of my turn at the end of the battle so that was good get to 45 retrieve data 12 because of everywhere engage 9 points mm, not bad and then 12 from flexible command because I got 5 at the end for that as well so that's not too bad but that was fun a little mosh pit around G-Man yeah I thought I'd just show everyone what, what tracking can do <laughs> at the end really he, he's an, he is an absolute weapon he is a yeah he's fun um, so cool yes yeah, so it's a win for the guard yay and uh, a loss for the ultramarines boo uh, but yeah thanks for the game Paul thank you for always a pleasure me. and uh, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one